Welcome back to Let's Play Legend of Zelda Link to the Past. Now we're um We're in the Dark World, again my favorite music from this game. The Dark World theme. Anyway, we're gonna head to the first palace of the Dark World. Yep, the game's not over yet. In fact, you can almost say it's the beginning because we have seven total palaces to get through. And that's not even including Ganon's Tower. I'm gonna refill my health. Here's another health restoration. Here's another health fairy location. And this one we don't have to bomb open. So, the first palace is located ex pretty much where it is in the dark world. Like, like the, the palace for the dark world, the first one, the palace of darkness, is located just where the first, where the eastern palace was in the light world. And here's the dark world. It's the same place, only in the dark world. So yeah, Hyrule has been turned into the di dark world. And what else is there to say? Oh, wrong way. That's just where Sahashula's house was in the dark world. But now it just has some guy in it. You can talk to him. All right. And you can use the the magic mirror to transport through the dark world. That's its main purpose. To transport from the dark world to the light world. Although you can't do it vice versa. You have you can only go through the um dark world. You can only go from the dark world to the light world. And once we get through here, we find Kiki the monkey following us. They say he'll follow you for ten if you give him ten rupees. And don't get hit here, because if you get hit, um, Kiki will run away. And you have to pay ten rupees to get him to follow you again. Really stinks, but hey. Ten rupees isn't too much of a loss. Now, he'll say he'll give you, if you give him a hundred rupees this time, he'll actually open the palace door. Boom. And now we head to the palace of darkness. Oh, by the way, this game has strong similarity to um, Link Between Worlds. So if you see anything familiar, because this game's filled with familiar things, it's probably because, well, Link Between Worlds was meant to be like a sequel to Link to the Past, or, um, or like, or it's supposed to take the same design from Link to the Past, at least. It has a lot of the same music tracks, too. So we're just gonna do this palace here. I think I remember it pretty well. Don't bomb any of those. You can only fight these guys with arrows. Wait, let me double check. Oh, oh wait, no, you can... Okay, the red guy, you can... You you can't hit... The red... Okay, the one that's red, you, you have to hit with arrows. Now, here's the trick about these guys. I think these guys are called... Gorias, I think. Here's a trick about... Except, when he goes in your line of sight, he'll shoot at you. But he only moves when you move, so here's here's the trick. Hold your sword out so that you you don't so that you're facing the same direction each time and just have him move until you line up like this. And just yeah. That's my trick. It's just, that way he doesn't shoot at you when you look at him because he's facing the other way. So. Alright, come on. These jellyfish type guys are Pretty annoying. Oh, by the way, the skeletons at the in Hyrule in the in the first palace they're called they're called Stalfos, just like from the first game. I guess the skeleton. I thought I thought in the first game the Stalfos were white furred monkeys. I don't I don't know. Don't blame me. I don't know what was up my my mind with my mind. I looked at them closer and I'm like, wait a minute, they're skeletons. So yeah, Stalfos are skeletons, not. And in here some fairies which we're gonna take advantage of because the boss of this guy the, the the boss of this dungeon gives me trouble 
the um, Hel Helmosaur King. Oh, by the way, the first palace boss, the Eastern Palace, that first palace we did. Remember when I said I didn't know those statue guys' names? The Rhino, the Rhino Man. Those are called Armos Knights. And then the little regular statues are just called Armos. So yeah, there's a fairy location which you might, which might be good use for you. When we come here, grab the key. And uh, travel back to the beginning use the, using the mirror. And moving along. So now we can unlock this door up here. Alright, where do we go next? Oh yeah, I think we go here. I, 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 I think we do. Or wait, no, 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 no. Hold on a second. I think we go up here first. So push the block out of the way. Come here. There's a key. Now we're gonna go over here. Those arrows say like you can you, you can just hop down there and you'll land. All right, what's in here? Oh, the platforms will disappear here. Yeah, you hear that noise? That's them disappearing so quickly. Ah! How did I know that was gonna happen? And I don't want to waste a fairy here though. Ugh! Whew! Grab the heart. Now we need a. I think it's just a comp. Yeah, it's just a compass. Or you can go either. You can go in either stairway. I'm just gonna take the left stairway. And we are encountered with a bunch of rupees. But there's also these. Hey, I'm gonna take advantage. Here's where's what our magic parador can do. You you put it on an anti fairy. Well, they're actually called bubbles. Those guys are spinning, and you, they'll turn into a fairy if you spray magic powder on them. So, boom. There you go. Wow, just one arrow. Alright, there's a key. That's what we really need. Is it coming back? Yeah, there it is. I'm like saying, like, where is it? They're actually pretty easy to dodge. They're more easy to dodge in this room than you think. Alright. Let's go. We can't fight those, those turtle guys yet. We have to get the hammer. Which we're gonna get in this place. Alright, it's dark in here, more camera lighting difficulties. Uh, oh! Come here, you. I think... Oh, just bombs. Oh, right, we have to bomb a ball. We're not looking for a key. Uh, so just go through this maze. Shouldn't be too difficult, although I'm going totally the wrong way. Maybe that's why I never knew there was a treasure chest up there. I never go that way. Alright, you... Yeah, that's the wall we're gonna bomb. If we can find a way to... Okay, okay, okay. I usually... Uh, I'm actually lost for once. And I don't know where to light. Oh, down here. Down here, okay. Alright. Wait, what's up here? Don't want to miss that. Could be something important. Yep, I knew it. I was thinking it was like something like... A dungeon item. Alright, we're gonna bomb that wall. Hang on, I'll be right back. Alright. Back. Oh, hey, the lighting is working. Oh, never mind. I went into all again. All right, over here we get. What the? I thought I had the big. Hey, look, the dungeon compass looks like a pokeball on the bottom right. I I swear I got. Did I miss something? I did, didn't I? Well, we're gonna do this part. I th I don't know if I thought I was supposed to do this part afterwards, but I forgot. Now I have to. We have a five-minute time limit too, so. All right, over here we get the key. 
and we warp back to the beginning because this time we're gonna go back over there and we're gonna have to bomb the place and bomb that area again but but uh, what you call it what you call it um oh wait this time we're gonna actually use the key we just picked up and is that gonna blow it yes it is wait, 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 wait. okay so now we're gonna actually gonna use that key we just picked up and this is the big key all right now yay we have to go all the way back over there We could have done, got, we could have almost gotten this dungeon done in this one video, but I guess not. Oh well. We tried. All right, so let's go there again. Are you kidding me? Ugh. There, we got the hammer. Magic hammer. Everything's magic. I thought it's just a hammer. And it's pretty much what it is. It's a hammer. Which we are going to obviously use. Okay, now we're gonna head along to the actual... ...traversing part of the dungeon. But again, I'm not gonna get it all done, so... We'll do what we can this part. Alright, here's a time saver. Pull out your arrows and kinda try to shoot between here and the wall, and you'll be able to hit that switch like so. So that makes this saves up a bunch of time. Alright. Pick up these hearts. Yay, we got full health. Move these out of the way because we need to pull this statue onto the switch. Simple puzzle solving there. Alright. I'm just, yeah, I'm just gonna... Again, like last time, we're gonna use the same trick. Put him in our line of sight and just have at him. Almost there. Alright. We could just, yeah, use our... Wait for that to pass by. Who did hit, hit the eye with the arrow? And see you next part.